nobody's fault but my own. I gotta make sure I go one 1,000 slower. I believe Usain Bolt fall started. I think Usain Bolt just fall started. Tom, I don't even want to say it. In a sport where speed matters, would you believe me if I told you that you could be penalized for reacting too fast after the sound of the gun? Well, this is what happened to Devon Allen. Oh. Gotta do it again. And he is faster than that tenth of a second allowance. You know how much faster oh, he is? By, just... by one thousandth of a second. Devin Allen is not going to participate in this final. No, this cannot happen. And this guy is the beloved son of this place. He is dealing, he's still reeling from the death of his father just weeks ago. The rules governing false starting have to be the most contentious part of track and field. In recent years, it is the use of technology by World Athletics that has caused most of the recent fuss. Here's the breakdown. In track and field, there are two types of false starts. The first of which is often easily detected. This type of false starts occurs when an athlete starts to race early before the sound of the gun. This type is generally uncontroversial, primarily because you can see the athlete leaving the blocks with the naked eye or with the help of slow motion replay from the television cameras. The second type of false start and the one Devin Allen was charged with is when an athlete reacts too soon after the sound of the gun. What? You could false start after the sound of the gun? Yeah. World Athletics rule states that no athlete can react to the sound of the starter's gun faster than 100 milliseconds. Anything faster and you've been deemed to have anticipated the gun. But many athletes and former athletes think that World Athletics is punishing quick starters. You might be wondering why 100 milliseconds. The 100 milliseconds threshold is based on an assume minimum auditory reaction time. In other words, it is believed once your brain processes the sound of the gun, your body in turn cannot react faster than 100 milliseconds to exit the blocks. Alan's time was 0 0.099, so he's very unfortunate. But is there really an appreciable difference between 0.1 and 0 0.099 for an athlete to gain an advantage? Here's how they measure his reaction time. It's all in the starting blocks. In track and field at major events, the starting blocks are really sophisticated with pressure sensors that can detect movement. We're not talking about your ordinary blocks you buy at your local sporting goods store or Amazon. All the major companies provide specialized blocks hooked up in the starting system, and they are in use at the World Championships, Olympics, and the Diamond League. The sensors located in the back of the starting blocks detect changes in force or acceleration as a runner exerts pressure through the feet. We can agree that when Devin Allen pushed out from the blocks, the naked eye would not have been able to detect the false start. But here's the bigger problem. World Athletics has a study that shows that reaction times can be quicker than 100 milliseconds. And you know what? That study was commissioned in 2009. Their own analysis showed that auditory reactions could be as fast as 80 milliseconds after the gun goes off. The same study recommended lowering the threshold to 80 to 85 milliseconds. Those recommendations have been ignored to date. If I were Devon Allen, this would make me even more upset. My own feeling is that we lower the reaction time to less than 85 milliseconds. We're talking about the very best starters on the planet who can train their bodies to push up against human limits. The study that World Athletics commissioned used elite level athletes from Finland. Who are these elite level athletes? We know for a fact that they're not Kristen Coleman, Shelley and Fraser Price, or even Devon Allen. Perhaps World Athletics should commission a new study with some of the best starters in the world to better gauge the limits of simple auditory response. The better solution is to move away from sensors and measure false start through body movement using high speed cameras like the ones used for photo finish. Now, this is not a new idea and World Athletics wants to do this, but it would require captured photos at the start to be processed fast enough to trigger a recall gun before the athletes are halfway down the track. For now, 
Let's lower the reaction time and stop ruining the sport for athletes and fans. Comment below if you think the reaction time should be lowered. Thanks for watching. Until next time, because my sister wants to say that. Ha ha ha!